William Stewart. Alongside me, the legendary, the receding, <laughs> Sean Green. <laughs> the receding. Yeah, that's a great nickname. Um, what's up, buddy? Hey, you know what is weird? It's better than the boom guy, so I'll take it. Oh, gosh. I don't know about that. The boom guy's legendary these days. Uh, <laughs> man, I tell you what, great stuff here. Happy that you're joining me for some uh, commentary here from Seacoast. Uh, definitely Thank you like for having you. me, man. Well, I like you alongside me, but, uh, I mean, hey, new house for you. I'm sure you're still unpacking. You're going to be unpacking for seven months, by the way. Yep, um. yep. Uh, <laughs> figured that out, especially because today was a, a unpacking day, and all I did was unpack these new um, extra soundproofing things for my, for my streaming room. Uh, that came in the mail today. So I still have not unpacked any of the actual things that we were supposed to unpack. Yeah, you unpacked all the stuff that you just got <laughs> rather than yep. the stuff you've had for years, which is totally understandable. All the pretty things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here we go. This is our women's finals. Lisa Yee, Julie Wieger taking on uh, Melissa Jalbert, Marley Skeel. And, uh, man, four quality players yeah. through and through. Looking forward to it. Well, the Jalbert family itself is extremely talented, so it's cool to to see Melissa in there. She beat uh, her daughter, stepdaughter, uh, in the semifinals uh, in order to get to this point. Uh, it just tells you, I'm surprised they weren't partners. You know? Yeah, yeah, and, and I don't, I don't know how often they actually partner up with each other. I don't think they've. I'm not sure if I've seen them do that one or not. I can't recall off the top of my head, but um, yeah. Well, you, when you have Marley's Keel asking to be your partner, you're probably going to go ahead and just go with that, I'd even so. even if your even if your talented stepdaughter at 19 years old uh, wants to play with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Marley's so a great player from the Cleveland area, as I call her, fake Canadian. <laughs> it's like all the players that are playing at Bullshooter right now, where Nick is. Yeah, they're they're all basically just Canadian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Niagara. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Your boy Colin Rath is, went up there, huh? You know that? I, yeah, I guess so, it's, which is surprising. Typically, Consider he would pick Steel Tip over Soft. And that's what I thought. I figured I'd see him this weekend, but uh, not the case. Not the case. Julian, unfortunate to go there. Only the single 18. As uh, Yeah. We'll see. They're in a little bit of control here, though. Yeah. This is the finals of the ladies' doubles cricket. So as uh, – our great scorekeeper, Keegan Ives, would say, it's cricket time. <laughs> it's cricket time. If you have not, Here definitely is. tune in on the Siege on Tuesdays to catch that live. Well, if you like Steel Tip, it's it's definitely uh, right up your alley, especially this week is going to be a fantastic matchup. Uh, Kerry Thaxton and Matt Hoyney taking on uh, our sp sponsored player, Trevor Sellers. And James Edwards, who just got second place in Division Two of the CSC Challenger Series. Yeah, top dog matchup this Tuesday. Definitely want to tune in. I'll be, uh, I'll be doing that one for sure. Looking forward to it. And guess what, buddy? We ain't yep. got no CSC this week. <laughs> I know, dude. I I don't know what I'm. My wife and I are gonna actually get to watch shows on Monday and Wednesday and like relax. And it's it's wonderful. I'm excited for it. Um, I always love the CSC. Don't get me wrong. It's always great to be busy. But uh. A little month off will never hurt you. Nope. And heading into the women's cricket singles, which is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for the talent that we're going to see uh, in that tournament. Is but, Le yeah. Is Lisa Yee in the mix for that? I don't think she's qualified in in the all-star rank list. Um, I did not see her name. I couldn't quite remember. So. On that listing. But um, she should, talent-wise, she definitely should be. And she still has a little less than a month to, to get in, doesn't she? Or no? Uh, I think no, it, it actually, ends really quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, it ends in like a couple days. 14th. I mean, 14th. just play like 18 DRTs, get in there, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Take yeah. a couple days off the old job and play them DRTs. Oh, look at say, this. Yeah, it's it's nice to see Weaker back back to it here. This is actually a funny story. My wife and... Mary Beth Collins played against Julie Weger and her partner at Bull Shooter. This was maybe like five years ago. Uh, and my wife had no idea who Julie Weger was. And Mary Beth did not tell her who Julie Weger was. No one did until after the match because uh, my wife and Mary Beth ended up winning. 
And then afterwards, I was like, you know who just beat? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's one of the best female dart players in the country. And she's like, what? Are you serious? So, yeah, I think it, uh, it's sometimes it's a it's an advantage to not know who these players are, but it's kind of hard not to when you're in this room. Hundred percent. It's hard to if you don't if you know the person, it's hard to look past the name, isn't yeah. it? I mean, if oh, I got Leonard Gates in front of me, I know he's going to throw some heat. You know, <laughs> Melissa with the nice four bowls. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Not a whole lot you can do about that one. Yeah, yeah. Folks, extra device needed. Extra device needed. Pull out your tablet. Pull out your uh, phone. Pull out your other device. If you're watching us, Stow Bunt's about to take off here for the PDC. Oh, is it now? TV. About to happen here soon. Is uh, I think their match is getting ready to be called. So uh, just be prepared. Well, just be prepared. I have it on my uh, on my other screen here, but ready to go. 100, 100, tied the ball game as we uh, ended that score line. Yeah, and it went to Julian Lisa. And the average is left a lot to be desired. So we'll see kind of what happens there. But leg number two, Marlies and Melissa will go first. And we've seen both these teams average above a three before, so... You can expect some firepower to come out this leg. Yeah, not. let's be honest, not the best of legs from both these guys the last time, but a, a win's a win if you're Julie and uh, Lisa. you got to think of that one. Yeah. But uh, we'll see if they come percent. out storming here. So far, yes. I'd say so. Good, Good five. There. Nice five, Mark. It steals the throw, basically. Melissa going to look down at the 19s. It's always tough to find the range there. Oh, my goodness. Did you see Peter's outfit? I have not. Hasn't came up on my screen yet. Wow. Uh, it's less colorful than Stowe's, I'll tell you that much, but just barely. Up oh, and then... <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, that was... Uh, it's that was Miss Bunce. It's Veterans' That was Mrs. Bunce who just was in the background. Yeah, that's nice. That's uh, That's great. Yeah, that was Crystal in the background of and, and fuzzy background of Peter's interview. Oops, <laughs> says she definitely turned the other way. <laughs> she was like, uh, yeah. oopsies. And then there's someone else. <laughs> I love this. Someone else. I think that might be Luke Humphreys in the background coming back in. That's hilarious. Uh, so funny. That is hilarious. I love that they're in that hallway doing the interview. All right, back to the match. Yeah, Gosh. Back, back to it. Back to it. No, that's that's All right, Melissa's going to look it. at the 18s. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Peter better better not be that relaxed uh, heading into this match because Stowe has some firepower. I just want to say it is funny. Like I'm I'm five seconds, ten seconds behind you, real quick. Oh, Luke is definitely awkwardly standing in the yep. doorway, <laughs> just yep. like okay, I'm. Uh, when can I walk? Yeah, uh, him funny. and Crystal are both just hanging out in the side there. That's good. Is what was happening because that's exactly where Crystal went. <laughs> that is quality. All right, Lisa Yi. Puts a couple on the board here. 80 to 90 is our score line. Yep. 2019. Uh, Marlies yep. going to take it out. Smart, smart option here. Go ahead and take those out. You got the 18s as a cover. Mm -hmm. That was smart darts. But here we go. Stow Bunts, Peter Wright. The most colorful match that's going to happen on a PDC stage. Uh, definitely. Definitely. I think Stowe was going to wear an even brighter colored outfit, but it did not get approved by the PDC. We'll yes. See. You can see. Someone's I like, I want Peter's autograph, not Stowe's. <laughs> I 100% know that, my guy. Uh, yep. David Garfink let us know that information. So, uh, yep. <laughs> I like how Stowe's demeanor is, uh, is good. All right. Lisa Yee. Looking over at the 16s, there's the point lead. Does she go 18s here on dart three? She's thinking about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. That was kind of funny how Stowe was just like, you want to sign these autographs so I can move on? <laughs> yep. All righty, enough of that. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Got to rein it in. Rein it in, Will. Especially for this final. This is uh, fantastic stuff here. Um, I mean... These ladies are going to want to come in with a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of confidence into their WDF singles when they uh, get done with this one. So uh, we'll see if they can do that. 100%. One. All right. Melissa, where's she going to look here? Going to try and close the 16s on dart one. She might move over the 18s here now. She is. They got to start hitting these cover shots or else it's going to get a lot closer. Yep. Okay. Ye searching for the 16s, trying to pad some more points on here. You see Ethan DeVera back there doing his... Uh, <laughs> He always does this little uh, cross of the arms like he's playing dead. <laughs> he always does it on the stream, and it's just funny. I love it. Uh, well, there's the point lead there for Lisa. Let's see what Marlies can do. Just two of them. Just two of them. Weger, what do you fancy here? Big triple into the into the 18s? No. Would have liked that big triple. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, good four mark there nonetheless. Big good, good four mark. That's a tough last start, too, to get it over the, the treble seven. I can hear your. Uh, That's why I was just put, put turning it down. Yeah. <laughs> Putting the old screen yeah. mirror on so I can uh, enjoy the uh, action without uh, having to worry about it. Let's see if we can do that one. Great dart from Lisa. I like the switch over to the 15s there instead of going for points. Uh, Peter started off with a five. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind. Calm down, I'm Sean. <laughs> I didn't know you were that far behind still. My bad. All righty. Natalie asking, what's this game called? It's actually called uh, Cricket. Yep. So uh, American Cricket. If you're uh, curious how this game works, check out Garage Darts. There's a great episode there that they really run down a full match for you um, with a cartoon, cup cartoon characters. So it really is, is great. It really is great to check out. I love it. Out. Well, it looks like this one's about over. Lisa E needs two bowls to win the match and win this tournament. See if she can put this one away. Just a bit high on dart one. Ooh. That's okay. That away, Stowe. All right, back to it. <laughs> Marlies gets one bowl there. I love that I can anticipate something happening now. Sorry. <laughs> if it has not happened yet. No. Big darts, and there it is. The match goes to Julie Weger. Yeah. And Lisa Yi, your champions of the doubles cricket women's. Doubles Great. cricket here at Seacoast.